Water is important because it's our life. It constitutes 70% of our bodies and we, we also know that 70% of the world is water, our world ocean. Earth Mother Born from Earth we are and into Earth we return. She sustains us. She feeds us an abundance. Out of her depths, a feast. Laid out, a bountiful harvest. Diversity from the deep. She offers us everything. A playground, a mother, a protector, a guide. The issue of water quality is important because it determines whether we can use our water or not. If the water is dirty or polluted, then that means it's not usable. Therefore, the water quality is poor. If the water is nice and clean and healthy, then we can use our water. Now, in this instance, we're not talking about what they call potable water, which is what we use to drink. We're talking about recreational water quality. How we go, like water we use to play, to go and use for sports when we go to the beach. We have stripped her off cover, bared her to the elements, exposed her, laid waste and left her barren. The soil is supposed to be on the land rather than in the river. In the river, soil loss is like a double jeopardy because in the river, it reduces the quality and quantity of water. And also when it gets into the marine ecosystem, it is a problem. So reduction in the quality of water is as a result of deforestation, slash and burn, planting when you don't plant on the contour, plowing or bad tillage. Agrochemicals, household pe um, chemicals, um, the affluent on the, 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 from the factories, etc. All of this water gets its way, finds its way into the waterway. When you have also mechanization, soil mechanization, if you put tractor and you put a tractor, um, you'll have what is called a hard pan you will also have the tractor creating some lines that can cause further erosion, right? So all of these contribute to soil erosion. Leech poison into our veins, strangling life in rivers and suffocating reefs. One of the main factors that we have affecting water quality in the coastal environment here in St. Lucia is sediment. Sediment is being washed, uh, washed out from the land and enters the marine environment either directly or indirectly through rivers. I mean, when it, it, when it rains, the, the, the layman in the street can see the state of the water after a rainy period. It gets very brown. That prevents light from entering and the water and reaching the systems that require light to survive. It also creates like a blanket of dirt on coral reefs and seagrass beds which require light and require oxygen to survive. So it's, it would be like putting a blanket on a human being, a very thick blanket, you would not be able to breathe. So it has a similar effect, it suffocates the systems and the systems die. We've corrupted her, used her as our dumping ground, tainted her waters and soiled what was once immaculate. It is true to say that St. Lucia is a coastal island. All or most of the residential, commercial and light industrial activities take place near the near coast. One of the problems we face, however, is that many of the properties, not only in Grosley and Castries, but all liquid waste are discharged into street drains and gullies and so on. However, all wastewater that is discharged from properties eventually finds its way to the coastal waters. Since the wastewater contains harmful organisms, 
disease forming organisms, it is a, pot a potential risk to persons using the coastal waters, especially the near shore waters. Corruption spreads, igniting disease and death. We will pay the fatal price for not caring, even for not knowing. Pollution uh, takes many forms. For example, you can get physical pollution of the coastal water. In that case, you may have situations where uh, physical items, for example, bottles, glass bottles, or metal objects that are sharp and so on, are present in the coastal environment. And there presents an opportunity for injuries and accidents. The more common means by which uh, such pollution can affect man is through the uh, transmission of diseases. Uh, there is a myth in our population that seawater does not carry germs. Nothing is further from the truth because the reality is that contaminated seawater can carry germs and do carry germs. We have a number of different types of organisms, largely what we call the coliform organisms that are associated with the gastrointestinal tract of man which uh, comprise pathogens and uh, they can in fact affect man and cause situations such as gastroenteritis, uh, 